Hi, welcome to The Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff The Gamesplainer and today I'm gamesplaining Scoville. In the game of Scoville, each of you are entrants in the Chili Harvest Festival. Your job is to get as many fire points as possible by creating different chili recipes as indicated by each of these cards. You can also gain points and advantages by visiting the farmer's market, which are these cards. Or you can just sell batches of chilies. The game starts with two randomly chosen chilies from the first level of chili, and I'll talk about that in a moment, stuck in the middle of the board. The player order is set randomly to start with, but every turn after the first turn, they will bid on player order. So secretly, each player will take some monies into their hands and all reveal at the same time. This player here, so let's pretend that's the blue player, has bid two money. This player has bid one money, say that's red, and let's say yellow bid no money. Blue player will choose their starting order first. Blue has the choice of any of the positions available one, two, or three in a three player game. Obviously the game plays up to six. Blue pays his two money and takes that position. Red had the one money, so he will now choose next and he might take the first position. And yellow, who bid no money, will take whatever is left over. That playing order has put them into order for a few different things. First up, there are three bonus cards up the top. They will be available every turn, or new ones will be available every turn. So red will select first, and red might take the green pepper. So red will add a green pepper to his groupings of peppers. Blue will get the next choice, and he might take that one, which will give him a blue and a yellow pepper. And then yellow is left with a red pepper. Once they've taken the bonuses, each player in order from left to right will plant. Now what you're doing by planting is creating combinations and this is the, really the crux of the game. The player aid that everyone will have that tells you what each will do. Now just by planting them that does not give you the uh, combined pepper that's going to be created by putting them together. The way you will get that is in the next phase when you place your guy in between the two peppers that will gain you one of the peppers created. So yellow and red creates an orange. For the moment, however, red will plant first and he will plant out of the peppers that he has. Red, blue and yellow were the starting peppers. He took the green one as the bonus and he'll pick one of those peppers and place it onto the board. Then blue will do the same and then yellow will place one. The only rules on placement of your chilies is that they must go adjacent to previously placed chilies. So I'm not allowed to place a chili there. However, there is perfectly fine. If you place any of the chilies that need a mix in order to create them, then you're going to get one of the plaques down the bottom, uh, unless you're like the third person to place them or fourth person, depending on how many players you have. So if I put a green chili in there, I will take the top plaque, which gives me two points at the end of the game. If I were to place a black chili, I would take this plaque, which is worth nine points at the end of the game. Notice the one underneath it is worth less points and there are only two of them. So it's good for you to place those ones earlier rather than later. Now the next thing that happens is the harvest. Harvest works in reverse order. So yellow is going to harvest first, moving your way backwards. During the harvest, you will move your little gardener man, your harvester, up to three spaces. You must move at least one, but you can move a maximum of three spaces. You are not allowed to turn around on yourself once you've started, but at the beginning of your turn, you may face yourself any direction you wish. So right at the very beginning of the game, everyone will start on the star. You do not get what is uh, available there. So yellow will move three times and he'll go one, two. He doesn't have a third spot to go to, but what he's created is a purple pepper by standing in between the red and the blue. And then by standing in between the two reds, he creates two more reds, which all go onto his board. Then blue will move. He might just step to there and not go any further because it's going to put him in empty space. That would give him green, yellow and blue makes green. And then red has a turn and he might just go to here and create the purple. We go to the fulfillment phase. Fulfillment is back in turn order. So red will be first going through to yellow. And what you're able to do in fulfillment is there are three actions. You may do each of the actions one time. So the easiest of the actions and one that you possibly won't use too often is to sell chilies. The way this one works is 
dependent on how many chilies are actually in the communal garden. For every pair of a color of chili, that colored chili is worth one money. So at the moment, there are two yellow and two red chilies. I'll move that guy out of the way so I can just double check that on me. Two yellow, two red, and one blue. Which means blue is worth zero, each yellow chili is worth one, each red chili is worth one. I've just added a few more peppers for clarification. So at the moment with four red peppers, red to sell would be worth two money for each of those red peppers you're selling. Yellow would be worth one money and blue would be worth zero money. You can sell a maximum of five of any one chili in each round. So you can't take a handful of different chilies and sell them off, but you can only sell a maximum of five. The second action you have available to you is at the farmer's market. Here you trade in whatever's on the left hand side of the card to gain the benefit that's on the right hand side. So for example, a red and a green will gain this card and in return he will get three money and a brown chili. Notice there is a fire point on the bottom right hand corner so that is worth one point at the end of the game also. The third action available is to fulfill a recipe. So each of the recipe cards has a number of points and what chilies are necessary to fulfill that particular recipe. So looking at this bottom recipe, to fulfill it, you would need to provide a green, a purple, and a red chili. By providing those three chilies, and they go back to the chili bank or the general supply, that then becomes five points at the end of the game for that player. Once everyone has taken those actions, if there are fewer cards in the farmer's market area than there are players, so in this case also less than three, then we set up for the afternoon, which is throw out a new set of the afternoon cards into the farmer's market, and all bonus cards will come from the afternoon deck instead of the morning deck. If we're in the afternoon phase, and there are fewer than the number of players in cards, in either of the areas, recipes or farmer's market, then we play one more round and the game will finish. If there are fewer cards in both areas than there are players, then the game finishes immediately. The other thing to notice is that every player starts with these three bonus cards. They allow you one extra action at any time during the game or during your turn. So while you're moving around, you're not normally allowed to go back over yourself. If you play that card, you are allowed to go back over yourself once. When you're moving around, you're normally only able to go three spaces. If you use this card, you'll be able to go a fourth space. And when you're planting your chili peppers, you're normally only able to plant one chili pepper. This token will allow you to plant two. Once you've used them, you discard them. If you don't use them during the game, they're worth four points each. I think that's about it. Once the game finishes, you count up all of the uh, fire icons that you have in your collection, and you get one point for every five money that you have. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. I hope this helps you get Scoville to the table. Please go on and watch my Games Played video to see how the game actually plays. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be Games Planned, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm Games Planning. And until next time, enjoy gaming.